to start a door family, you click on new and you find the door template and click open. Now, when I open that, you can see that there's quite a lot of stuff in this template. You've got the wall, you've got the opening for the door, and then there's already some built-in parameters in here. However, I typically don't like to start with all of this preloaded content in here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is delete these extra parameters. I'm going to delete the trim that they've pre-drawn in here. And we'll go to the 3D view to make sure that I've gotten rid of everything that was preloaded. So it looks like a nice clean file. I'm going to turn on the shade mode just so we can see more clearly what's going on. There it is. And so the last thing I'm going to do is they also have some preloaded uh, parameters, some extra parameters in here. And I always like to name my parameters in a very specific manner. So I'm going to remove those parameters. Uh, so frame projection, frame uh, for exterior and interior, and then frame width. I'm just going to click on the parameter and then say remove. And that removes it completely from the file. Now the two parameters that I will keep are height and width. Um, the rest we'll get rid of. All right, so there is our family template for a door. So I'm going to go back to the plan. And so we've got a wall, like I said before, in here. A door is a hosted element, which means it needs a host to go into. And in a case of a door, doors are hosted by walls, same as windows. Um, so the first thing that we need to do is identify the parameters that surround this wall. So we've got a reference plane in here already that says it's the ex it represents the exterior face of the wall. And we have a reference plane that represents the interior face of the wall. Now why that's important is because this door could go into any variety of walls. It could go into a wall that's just six inches thick, or it could go into a wall that's two feet thick. And using these uh, reference planes for the exterior face and the interior face of the wall, we can control exactly where this door is going to land inside of a wall. 